Welcome back. Now, the attack on um, Governor Samuel Otom, uh, that, that, there's, there's been a hullabaloo all over town. Uh, I have one paper in front of me here. It just some, sort of summarizes it. The Nigerian government, uh, Governor's Forum says it's an attack on governors. Uh, PDP hold federal government responsible. Uh, APC don't politicize insecurity. IG sends crack team to Benue and uh, Tambowal chips in. Banditry is an, is, is an invitation to anarchy. Um, that, that really just summarizes the outrage that um, most feel over the attack. And we have with us Mr. Teva Akase. Uh, Mr. Akase is the Chief Press Secretary to the um, Governor. Um, good morning, Teva, and thank you very much for joining with us. Good morning, Yuri, and thank you for having me. I indeed. Well, uh, so um, as I said, I just read out the you know, different indignations coming from all, all over the place. Um, uh, by the way, how's the governor? In the light of um, well, the governor, the, the governor is uh, is fine. Uh, yesterday he went to church and uh, give thanks and praise to God for sparing his life on Saturday. Uh, he's fine. He's uh, and he's grateful to Nigerians, both home and abroad, who have. Uh, uh, sent their uh, words of solidarity, words of, uh, of uh, goodwill, and wishing him well, wishing the state well. So he really appreciates everyone who has cared to call us and uh, sent their words of, of, of solidarity and prayers that nothing should happen to him and any other person uh, in the state. Indeed. Um, of course, um, the police uh, authorities, they're on the case trying to find out who was responsible um, for, for this attack. Uh, even the president has weighed in on the matter. There's rage generally. But do, do, do you think this was um, an opportunistic attack or a targeted attack? Well, that is for security agencies to, to unravel. But while they are on that, let's not forget the uh, uh, claim of responsibility by the Fulani nationality, nationality movement, FUNAM, that they, they carried out the attack and that if not for uh, the uh, mix-up for a technical hitch in their communication, they would have got Governor Otom killed. Uh, and uh, remember also, Yuri, that a few days ago, I think two weeks ago or so, the uh, Militi Ala Kautahore assembled in Yola. Uh, they met, it was a large gathering of, uh, of members of that organization and more and others, and they singled out Governor Otom as their problem. They said Governor Otom is, the, is, is a thorn in their flesh, that he has been leading uh, a campaign uh, using their words now, against the Fulani race, and that he uh, uh, deserves to be treated in any way that uh, uh, that they, they can uh, do. So with the claim of responsibility by the Fulani nationality movement now, that they carried out the attacks, I wonder why security agencies should be looking further for the culprits. If you look at the Yula meeting and the statement by Fulani, they said Governor Tom has been, they called him an infidel, uh, that he has been waging a war of, 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 uh, of patriot uh, against the Fulani race. And so he deserves to be killed. And they said this will not be the last attack on the governor. So uh, th this has really put us uh, into deep thoughts. What has Governor Tom done to deserve to be killed? Is it wrong to call for... Uh, this century's modern, I mean, uh, uh, method of animal husbandry? Is it a crime for the governor to say, look, no nation in this world practices open grazing, and that Nigeria, which claims to be the giant of Africa, should embrace ranching as the best practice, global practice uh, uh, of uh, animal husbandry? Is that a crime? By the way, cows that are put in a ranch produce better milk and meat. So the, the, those who, 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 who have animals, 
This is what they, they, they should know. And this is the only thing that Governor Tom has been has been doing. <laughs> we have Fulanese in Benue State. And in the government of Governor Samuel Otum, there are there, there, there are Fulanese. If you go to his farm in Bajimba, his country home, he has Fulanese who are manning, who are uh, who are helping him to run some of the, the, the farms. So he does not hate the Fulani person. The thief and the Idoma Igedes have lived with Fulanese here for quite a while. So why would anyone think that Governor Tom hates Fulani? So he's waging a, a campaign of calumny against the Fulani race. It's not true. So we are wondering why the governor deserves to die. This is a question we're asking now because people have claimed responsibility. So the security agencies do not need to, to look further for their assailants. But as, as, as you said, um, the security um, authorities, um, it's, it's up to them following their investigations uh, to come up. But uh, thank you for giving us the background uh, that you did. It's, it's, it's an astounding situation. I mean, governors have been attacked. It, it, it never ceases to surprise. But um, I noticed in the details of the story on Governor Tom that um, um, he, he actually claimed to have, um, what, uh, to, 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 to have run for uh, up to a kilometer in order to, you know, escape assassination um that, that that's a gory picture as if uh, the governor was being pursued and what happened to the security details of the governor you see uh if you have been to benue uh the the axis where this thing happened is not very far from the the the, the, the highway between makudi and boko uh so the terrain moving to the farm where the governor went to to inspect uh, uh, his farm is is near the river banks that's river benway and so the terrain is not good enough for for vehicles to uh to access so they had to park their vehicles uh off the main the, the highway and and trek down to the to the farm it was on their way back to uh, uh to where their vehicles were that the the ambush took place and we have to quickly commend the security uh, men with the governor on, on that, that particular occasion. If not, uh, the intervention of God and the, security, uh, the, the gallantry of the, uh, the, the security men with him would have been uh, saying a different thing now. Uh, they did very well of repelling the, the attacks and, and taking the governor uh, off danger. They, yeah. they had to run. This, this happened. Yeah. They had to run over a kilometer to where the vehicles were because, as I have said, uh, as accessing that farm uh, by vehicles is not very easy because this is the terrain that leads to the river. So you, you, you understand how uh, the river banks usually uh, uh, can be. So they, they had to run from where they were ambushed. It took the, 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 the bravery of the security men with him to exchange fire with the assailants while the governor and his aide uh, is 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 a uh, is a uh, uh, PA. We're, we're running back to safety. Okay, you know, one, with, one, with moment, uh, one, one moment, please. Uh, one moment. One uh, moment, please, uh, because um, Mr. George has come on the line. Good morning, Mr. George. From Good morning, Uncle Yari. Thank you for calling in, sir. Good morning. Uh, Uncle Yari, it is unfortunate that uh, this has happened to the governor of Benue State, but uh, I rejoice with him that he please. survived it. Be that as it may, you can see that because a governor is attacked, the Inspector General of Police has immediately come in. This is what we have been talking about in this country. Does this uh, insecurity have to affect a, a VIP or, or a governor before the police come and do their work? Many people have been kidnapped daily. The IG is not seen making any reaction as he's doing now. Are uh, some Nigerians more important than other Nigerians? This is a question the government has to uh, answer. It's unfortunate it has affected the government because this particular governor is the one that has been most outspoken about the activities of these criminals. And now they have got to a whole governor. I hope it is time for the uh, federal government to do something about this hate criminality. It is bringing us down in this country, and it is about time it should be addressed. 
I don't know if Uncle Yoru will allow me to say something about the previous topic. I'll try to reach you. I couldn't. Say. Okay, very briefly, please. We are looking for $1.5 billion to repair one refinery. This same government told us two months ago that the four refineries were being deficient. All of a sudden, $1.5 billion is now being looked for to, re to, to, to revive only one. What is the guarantee that $1.5 billion will, refine, uh, will, will revive that uh, refinery? And what is the guarantee that the money will not go into private pockets again? A refinery you have already condemned that is not repairable. All of a sudden, $1.5 billion, that's about half a trillion naira, is not going to be pumped into it. I think we should look for, the, the, the president should be mindful of his advisor. They are looking yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, Mr. George. Um, thank you uh, very much. The uh, we we still with uh, Teva Akasi, uh, Chief Press Secretary to uh, the Governor. Um, as a, everybody has rallied around the Governor, and um, are there going to have to be? I mean, this kind of a thing that has happened. Uh, I, I would take it for granted that there would have to be a serious review of um, you know his security. Uh, apparatus, maybe intelligence. The governor was going to go to the farm that day. Uh, maybe, I, I just don't know. Uh, now, once bitten, I imagine the governor is going to be three, four, five times shy uh, in terms of um, his personal security. Well, um, let me first of all share the sentiments of uh, our friend who, who just called. Mr. George. Uh, that yes, Yes, uh, he, he's right that uh, uh, every Nigerian deserves to be protected. And that's why uh, uh, we have been calling for serious uh, reorganization. I mean, Nigeria needs to really think through, I mean, look at its security uh, components and, and, and do more. Because if, if a governor can be attacked in this manner, then what happens to the rest of Nigerians, the so-called ordinary Nigerians? I mean, it can happen to anybody. And if a governor can come under fire this way, in this way, then what happens to the rest of the people? But again, somebody say, I mean, someone said yesterday that Nigeria is on a ventilator. And how can you argue against that as far as security is concerned? So we, we really need to do more. And intelligence gathering is one aspect of, the, uh, of security that uh, our, our country really needs to, to look into. The issue of uh, uh, community policing is it's very important. And we expect that the, 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 the Inspector General of Police should give this. He, it started under him. The first time Nigeria is giving a, a serious look, serious uh, attention uh, uh, on that so a lot more should be done communities are where criminals reside if there is a forest like where the governor was attacked uh, there's something like that there now what has happened that our forests are not being combed by by our security the the the, the, header, the, the armed headers have said the forests belong to them that they live in the forest and that no one should tell them to leave the forest so and they are heavily armed what is stopping our military, for instance, to go to the forest and, and, and chase these, these people out of the forest? Okay. And if possible, I mean, okay. flush them. Mm. This is something that can be done. Okay. It, 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 we know our forest. Nigeria knows the forest that we have. And okay. the criminals one moment, are living please. in the forest. Uh, Peter, uh, I beg your pardon. Sorry, no, not Peter, Teva. One moment, please. Um, Mr. Yakub is on the line. Good morning, sir. Go ahead, please. Yeah, uh, yeah thank you very much. If you are a good morning, then good morning to your guest. Uh, I totally agree with uh, Mr. George. And then let me, be, let me say this. Your, your guest said something that is very, very important. Uh, the community policing is the, is the answer to all this kind of a problem we found ourselves. Before the community police, I want to know what our House of Representatives and the Senate House is doing for signing the state policing. Because if you are the, our heads want to lie to ourselves, we don't even have enough men. I'm talking about police, including military, and including Navy officers and other uh, security apparatus, to police this country. Because how many of them? But if they can be able to pass a big whereby 
we we have a state police. Let me give you a typical example quickly here. Yeah. Uh, you remember Wakili that uh, 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 OPC got arrested last time in uh, Barapa North. Does it mean that police, police, they cannot be able to assess the place that this guy resides? But the OPC went ahead and apprehended these guys, even though they were shot at. But because of the locality, and then they know how to do some certain things, which I, I'm not able to mention in, in the public here. So, Hibari, when this guy was not finally arrested, they took him to Ibadan, precisely, and then the table turned against them. So, the, the issue is this. If it is truly we have House of Representatives representative and the Senate, and then it's truly they, they, are really, they are really representing us, they should be able to pass a bill whereby they will allow the state police. What are they afraid of? So, yeah. if they are afraid of, of governor being used in that police, okay, what is happening now? The governor, if the governor use the police as a state police, then the, the state, the state citizen will cry out that the governor is not starting using this policing against us. So, they should allow it. Failure to allow the state police, severely, we we'll have nowhere to go. Thank and God bless you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Yakub, for calling in. And, um, well, uh, uh, Teva, uh, w this is where we're going to have to leave it. We, we're so thankful to God that the governor is safe. Um, our, our sympathies, uh, but as, uh, as you said, uh, the police are investigating, and um, uh, this just is totally unacceptable. NGF, the Nigeria Governors Forum, considers uh, uh, it uh, Before I go, let, let, me, let me agree with our, our friend who just called now. That okay. We That's don't cool. need to be afraid of, 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 of state police. We have... Governors have judiciary, but states lose cases in the courts, in the state courts. So who says the, the police will be used only? Well, the state assembly is there, which will be a, a key stakeholder in, in, in manning the police, in, in controlling the police. So it won't be just the exclusive uh, right of a governor to uh, deploy police, I mean, to, to, to control and use police the way, the way he wants. It won't happen that way. If the laws are made right... Uh, the state assembly will be fully involved in, 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 in manning, in controlling and running the, 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 the state police. Indeed. I want to thank you very much, uh, Teva. Uh, Mr. Teva uh, Akase is the chief press secretary to the Benway state governor, uh, Samuel Otton. Thank you indeed for your time this morning. And that brings us to the end of our program.